Hey, Shalom. Hey, Shalom. Hey, all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh, Kapadash, a double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Hey, this lesson will be entitled Tell Me Why. All right, going into the true people of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. Because we have these bastards that claim it to be the real Jews and they're not. So tell me why to these questions through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, that we're going to ask you. All right, let's go. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2. Verse nine, right. I know thy works and tribulation right. and poverty, right. but thou art rich. Right. So we are rich, how? Through, the, through, the, through this truth, this knowledge. Okay, we are rich via this knowledge. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Romans 11 yes, and 33. Right. Or the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom See, and knowledge. This is the true riches. All right, this truth is the real riches. Go ahead. I'm, I'm doing the NLT. Let's do that. It says, oh, how great are God's riches right, the wisdom. most high's riches and wisdom. Go ahead. And knowledge. Go ahead. How impossible it is for us to understand his decisions and his ways. And that's why you have to have an assistant such as the Holy Spirit. Continue. For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Right. Who knows enough to give him advice? Right. Right. But that's the point, that the riches are... Riches is is true. All right, go back to Revelation. Back in Revelation chapter two verse nine, right. I know thy works in right. tribulation mm -hmm. and poverty, right. but thou art rich, right. and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. So you blaspheme, meaning you're speaking ill. In what way? Saying that you're Jews, and you're not, and you're not. Okay. Hey, jump to Revelation fourteen and two. All right, because guess what? The Jews had. A complexion. The Jews still have a complexion. Complexion, and then you had this um, president in Egypt that stated back in 1954. I forgot his name, but he stated that he would never respect these modern-day Jews because they love black and came back white, right? Uh, president of Egypt. Yeah, not serious and shit. Something. Got I got precept. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Right. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. Right. We're holy. And the reason why we're holy via us receiving the law, statutes, and the commandments. Continue. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee right. to be a special people unto himself. Chosen us, which, which are, or which contains to so called Negroes, so called Hispanics, and so called Native Americans based on the lineage of our fathers. Continue. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We are above Amalek, which is the head tribe of Edom. Okay, we are above you all. And guess what? You international bankers, uh, referring to you Rothschilds and you other 12 families and all 13 families, you know this shit as well. You know. So tell me why. Right? Tell me why regarding Revelation 2 and 9. Tell me why regarding Revelation, I mean, Salak and Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Right? You got something else, else? This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, right. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, Most high brought us up. Not y'all, he brought us up. Go ahead. You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for your iniquities. Right, so and how did the Most High punish us for our iniquity? iniquities going into our wickedness hence Deuteronomy 28 from 15 all the way down to 68 all right because he known us because we received the laws statutes and the commandments remember we signed that spiritual contract and we broke that contract so the consequences and the stipulations for uh, breaking the law statutes and commandments hence Deuteronomy 28 and 15 on down same Jeremiah, who was like unto that comely, delicate woman. That's right. He only gave us those laws. That's so it. He only penetrated us as a people. Man. Right, right. So tell me why, Amalek, why are you not being punished such as us? Why don't the curses, um, uh, why don't you have a, a profile regarding the curses that's spoken of in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28 and 15? 
right? But you see how they control the media, so they make these false narratives so they can be able to fulfill biblical prophecies. That's it. By them getting like downgraded, being downtrodden within the society. Right. You know, so they trying to, you know, fulfill biblical prophecy. Or like their women wear all black and stuff like that. That's it. They wear all they hair. They shave their hair. Yeah, they shave their hands and stuff like that. Going into um, the curse, how the Most High was going to uh, smack the daughters of um, Judah yeah. on their scale. Yeah. Meaning what? Their hair would not grow. And so to fulfill prophecy, what does Amalek do? They have their women to shave their head. But you're doing it willingly, man. Right. Yes, yeah, I got something. Uh, this is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, and verse, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, right. a peculiar people, That's right. that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And that's beginning with the elect, all right? Beginning with the 144,000. That chosen generation is going to a class of men, right? Spoken of in the book of Psalms. So, war will, we continue. We are those chosen men beginning with the apostles of the great millstone. Yep. Which in time past were not a people. Meaning what? Because we didn't know who we were. We were discontinued from our heritage. Now, when has Edom ever fulfilled that prophecy? Go ahead. But are now the people of Yahweh, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Now at this current time. So tell me why you don't fulfill that uh, prophecy as well. Okay. You can link that up with Hosea 1 and 9. 1 and 10. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Isaiah 1 and 7 in the NLT. It say, your country lies in ruins and your towns are burnt. Foreigners plunder your fields before your eyes. Let's talk about our land. Right? Let's talk about our land and that happened. That happened. And guess what? These same Gentiles are still in our land to this day. Right? Go ahead. But Gentiles, speaking of, you got what? Ishmael, and mainly Ishmael and um, Edom. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Zechariah 9 and 6. That's right. And it says, And a bastard should dwell in Ashdod. That's right. And I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. Yeah, and, you, you, and that bastard is, is that perpetrator, man. That's right. You know, it's that same perpetrator who's pretending to be the Jews and are not. Mm -hmm. You know, because when you look at the curses that were written up in the book, the book of Deuteronomy, you always go into that. And you go verse 1 through 15, then you got the 16 through uh, 68, you got the blessings and you got the curses. But you got this one peculiar people, right, that fit all of those descriptions. The, the most hated throughout the entire planet Earth, uh, the entire planet Earth, but yet they're still looked at as, there's no the way you guys be. Right, 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 right. You know, but that's how the Most High set everything up because he stated what well, he said, that he, that he was going to give us fame in the lands to where we would put to shame. Mm -hmm. And ultimately he's going to punish our oppressor. He's going to punish our enemy. Although he used this system, he used this Edomite individual to be a whooping stick, but he still is going to put a whipping on him for touching the apple of his eye. That's it. That's it. Nope. That's it. Yeah, Elder B was going into, like, we'll say Romans 8 chapter, how the spirit bear witness with our spirit. So all the prophecies that we see that happen in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, Jeremiah 17 chapter, how we're going to be discontinued from our heritage, nobody wears that like we do as a people, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how you can tell who are the biblical Israelites. Mm -hmm. I got a precept for you all. Hey, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come on you and shall pursue you and overtake you till you be destroyed. So no matter wh where you go throughout the entire planet Earth, you're still considered a minority. That's right. You're still considered in 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 insignificant. That's right. yeah. You're still considered a, a, a byword and a proverb. That's it. That's it, bro. You're considered everything except what? As, as the world say, a child of God. That's it. That's little. That's right. Because uh, Deuteronomy uh, 2864, it goes into, I was going to be scattered throughout the whole world, you know? So therefore, we're going to start looking like those other nations in the process of time. That's right. So even those people over there who look like these other nations, but they line go back to being Israelites, they still follow those curses. You got different nations like in uh, East India. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the name uh, they go by, but they pretty much are looking at like uh, the downtrodden in that society. You know? There's another one that's alive. Okay, uh, and overtake you 
till you be till you be destroyed, because you hearken not unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh your power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded you. And people want to wonder why we're here. People want to wonder why the Edomite, the so-called Caucasian, hates us. They want to wonder wonder why your heart beats when the police get behind you with the blue right, lights. Right. You want to wonder why when the executive executive committee show up at your job. <laughs> you know, is it me? It's right, the last <laughs> day. You know, why? Because th the curses have pursued you. Mm -hmm. The curses have pursued us. But, but through the washing of the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh He's making us clean. Right. And verse 46, And they shall be on you for a sign and for a wonder and on your seed forever. And what did it say? A telltale sign. That's a telltale sign tells what? It tells, tells a story. Mm -hmm. And we're that people historically spoken of in the Holy Scriptures, man. That's right. The whole entire book is, 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 is prob primarily about the Israelites, but at the same time you have Jacob and Esau. That's it. Those are the two key players because you got good versus evil mm -hmm. and righteous and righteousness versus wickedness. And, and lastly, you have salvation versus them a condemnation. That's right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, starting at verse 1. The point primarily at uh, verse 4. But the, word of, the, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, said concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Most High's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. And that has not happened. Right. Tell me why, tell me when. When has this happened? It's about to happen, but it hasn't happened. Go ahead. It was going to be written by no Balfour no declaration right. in 1948. Yeah. And when, they, uh, when that happened in 1948, you know, uh, I think they, uh, they got struck missiles upon each other. Mm. War happened that particular yeah, well, night. Yeah, so, yeah. And the kingdom of heaven, uh, the true Israelites, it says what? There shall be no more war there. Right. Yeah. So we don't need tanks. We don't need the bow and arrows. We won't be needing these uh, 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 missiles. missiles and machinery. Right. Grenades and shit. God. And shall be exalted over the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. Going into what? All governments. Right? So our government, spoken of in Daniel, the seventh chapter, um, from 18 all the way down, makes it going into our government being exalted. And guess what? All these other nations is going to flow to our government. Right? Go ahead. And many people shall go and say, come ye and so let... When, when is this happening? Okay. Go ahead. And let us go up to the mountain of the Most High, to the house of our power of Jacob. So who's running to Israel at this time frame? Who who has fulfilled this prophecy since 1948 until now? Please tell me. Go ahead. And he will teach us of his ways. Right. And we will walk in his paths. And they believe in the Talmud. They don't even believe in the will of which is within the scriptures of the Most High. They believe in the Talmud that came from the Kabbalah. And all that shit goes back to uh, Hamanic worship, man. Yep. They refer to Mary as a whore. Yeah. You know it's really satanic. Man. Yeah. And then them fucking uh, so-called Ish people, what they say that Yahweh Shine came here. They don't even document or declare him coming 2,000 years ago. So they when is he coming? Right. Just the word you just said, ish. Ish. Suffix. Yeah, yeah. Like what does it mean to be pertained to? Are you right. trying to be like someone? Like if I call you a child, a childish, yeah. you're acting like yeah. a child. You a full grown ass adult. Right. right. You know? Or if I'm bunnish. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I pertain yeah. to bun, but I'm not bun. Right. You know? The imitation. That's it. Right. Imitation. Imitation. Never be me. Well, I, uh, copyright is, man. <laughs> Or the, the first identity theft. Yeah. Let's begin right then. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Most High from Jerusalem. And that's not happening because they believe in Satan. This is not happening. Go ahead. And and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. And this will happen post America. Right. The, the destruction of post America and also Israel get nuked and also Russia get nuked. China gonna get nuked. Iran gonna get nuked. Yep. America gonna get fucking nuked. Yep. Okay, so this is not happening yet. So tell me why. How can you be the so called real people of the Most High when you don't feel, fulfill not one promise? Gearing up for war. That's it. You gearing up for yeah. war. I guess maybe. 
And guess what that nation of people own? They own the mu music industry, right. they own Hollywood, the money, system. the money system, all the banks, yeah. they own all, all of your radio stations, Military. all, all your news all networks, the sides of the war. all your battles, yeah. uh, 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 military-wise. And when you read in the book of Job, it says what? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So how can you have your hand in every aspect of the entire planet Earth, right? Mm -hmm. and, say you're, and say you're the righteous, people of the Bible. Right. It right. don't add up. The math, not math. Right. And Woodrow Wilson, he stated this. He talked about those vacant elites. Since I enter politics, I have chiefly had men's views confided to me privately. Some of the biggest men in the U.S. Uh, in the field of commerce and manufacture are afraid of something. They know that there is a power somewhere so organized, so subtle, so watchful, so interlocked, so complete, so pervasive, that they better not speak above their breath when they speak in condemnation of it. They talking about the shadow government. Mm -hmm. They talking about the fucking shadow right. government. Of this corporation. That's, That's right. it, of this corporation. That's, That's why you have a fucking president That's and a it. vice president. Because America ain't nothing but a corporation. Going into what LDB just brought out, how they uh, they own every sector of yeah. this world yeah. in this corporation. But you claim you're unprivileged, under what they call it, uh, underprivileged, yeah. you know what I'm saying, things, or impoverished. How so? When all you motherfuckers are millionaires. Go ahead. Then we'll do a part two of our I got Gabel Abdel Nasser. He stated this in 1952. Uh, it says, You will never be able to live here in peace because you left here black and came back white. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Right? Hey, our people are dark skinned people. All right? A bastard shit dwell in Ashton. Come on. This is the book of Hosea. Chapter 1, verse 9. Then said Yahabashimi Al Shah, call his name Loami. Lo 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 the book of Hosea, chapter 1, verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Okay, so if y'all are so called real people of the Most High, where are the other 11 tribes? Right, Spoken right. of in Revelation, the seven chapters. Right. right? Where are the other 11 tribes? Right. Who is Manasseh? Who is Ephraim? Right? Who is Lawya? Who is uh, Benjamin? Benjamin? Right. Okay, go ahead. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. Right, because basically, if y'all were so called people, then y'all such a small sector of people. Right? Go ahead. And as I say, it can't be measured nor numbered. Uh, the woman on Good Morning Good Morning America, when she was speaking on Kanye, saying that the, the Jewish community was less than 15 million, was smaller than his uh, fan base. But you wait a minute, what did this scripture say? I don't know how she can count it, because apparently, <laughs> by way of the scripture, it said that the children of Israel shall be in the sand of the sea, which can are not my people. Right. There is there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living Oh, and that was declared to us, right? You so called Negroes, so called Hispanics, and so called Native Americans, man, based on the lineage of our fathers. And Lord will, we're going to do a part two. Shalom. Hey, Shalom. Shalom.